Hey guys, um, so two things. First off, I know that beeping's there. I personally can't hear it, and I don't know where it's coming from or how to address it, so I hope you'll bear with me. Second, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different with the timestamps for this video. Taking a note from Philip DeFranco's videos and posting the timestamps and videos and all that stuff right here. Uh, I hope you guys like the change. So back in April, I went over some of what we can expect out of the upcoming PlayStation VR version 2 headset that we can expect at some point. Those hardware features included things such as eye tracking, foveated rendering, and wireless connectivity just to name a few. However, today, I recently came into the leaked specifications of that upcoming headset. One of the things that we can expect is a $250 price tag, 1280 by 1440 resolution per eye, a 120 hertz refresh rate, and I think this is a typo. I'm willing to bet that this is actually a 110 degree field of view rather than a 220, as a 220 would look something like this. And a five hour battery life is in line with what the Oculus Quest boasted at launch. So that makes sense. And eye tracking support as I touched on previously. However, one of the things that is going to make our gameplay far better is it is going to be able to track head position as well. So you'll be able to swivel in your racetrack along Gran Turismo's upcoming project, or maybe, I, I don't know, be able to dodge those sword swings far easier in Skyrim, or maybe even, I don't know, dodge the bullets that you're trying to avoid in Firewall. But then again, trying to avoid bullets by dodging, it's a little unrealistic. But anyway, that's what we can expect. Those are all the leaked specifications that we know at this point for the upcoming PlayStation VR version 2 headset. Do you feel like playing Oculus exclusives on the PlayStation VR? Well, given enough time, that just might be a reality. Jason Rubin of Oculus had an interview with Kotaku last month at E3 in which he said he would, quote, love to make a trade with Sony. Quote, we've thought about it. I would love to make a trade with Sony. You know, they've got some great stuff that they funded, and we have some great stuff that we funded." End quote. However, the biggest question is going to be whether Sony is going to be willing to do their part in this trade. Just because Ruben and Oculus are willing to step up doesn't mean Sony is willing to do the same. And we've seen that with their lack of interaction with cross-play on many other titles with Microsoft over the last few years. However, in this case, they will be able to make quite the amount of money because not only will they be able to get licensing from all of those Oculus products, but they will be able to sell their own products across the million or so headsets that are already out there in the wild from all of the Oculus Rift, Rift S, and Quest owners. That being said, we should be able to see maybe even blood and truth on your quest. That That's probably even going a little bit overboard, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. It seems congratulations are in order, as we should be able to expect the VR update to No Man's Sky here in the next few weeks. As the Australian Ratings Board has recently given us an actual rating on said game on the 8th, if you can believe it. And those, those ratings can be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. However, because it was listed as being released in the summer, and we are in the middle of summer with about, I don't know, like six weeks left to go, well... You've got at most maybe five weeks left to wait. So get ready for that update. The last story of the night concerns virtual reality game streaming through the Google Stadia. 
I'm sure at least a few of you are at least considering it. Well, they updated their recent frequent FAQs and it includes a simple mention of VR. And that line is, at this time we have no news to share regarding VR support on the stadium. While there isn't anything definitive yet at this point whether VR streaming is going to take place, like this article suggests, it will be several years at the very least before Google or anybody for that matter, be it PlayStation, Oculus, or Google, obviously, tries to bring out virtual reality streaming. However, that being said, we are headed in the right direction through all of the infrastructure updates that are taking place at this point. My favorite one at the moment is 5G connectivity, which is spreading out around the world at this very moment. It's trying its best to spread through all populated areas so that we can have a much stronger internet. And that stronger internet will give us the 5.2 gigabits a second necessary to give us a quality connection. Or in this case, uh, I, I don't know what it would be, maybe 50, 50 gigabits for a, a VR wireless streaming connection. But that, that's a whole lot of uh, internet connection stuff that I don't know a whole lot about. But hopefully over the next few years or months, we can find that stuff out together. In the meantime though, let's move on. If you guys are still here, and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to humblebundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books or games, or what, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing, but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then, if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them, and they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere, I, I don't know where I'll put it, but you'll find it somewhere, I hope, probably, maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.